Once upon a time, a prince and a princess who had only recently got married were madly in love with each other. They were truly happy. The prince was called Robert and the princess Amelia. Robert and Amelia wanted to retain their happiness and deeply wished to own a talisman with which they could protect themselves against any unhappiness in their marriage. One day, the king's advisor told them about a man who lived out in the forest. Acclaimed by everybody for his wisdom and known for his good advice in every need and difficulty. We should set out at once and meet this wise man. So the next day, Robert and Amelia set out to go to the wise man. When they reached the tree where the wise man lived, they told him all about their heart's desire. The wise man listened and then said, Travel through every country in the world, and wherever you meet a completely happily married couple, ask them for a small piece of the linen they wear close to the body. When you get it, carry it on you and bring it to me. I will mix it with liquid gold and make two golden rings from it. The golden rings will be your talismans. That is the only remedy. Robert and Amelia thanked the wise man and then rode forth. They rode through jungles and rivers and soon came upon a city where they asked a man who was passing by about the happiest married couple. Yes, our knight and his wife are the most happily married couple. We should go and see the knight at once. When they went to the knight's castle, the knight welcomed them. Robert and Amelia asked the knight and his wife if their marriage was truly as happy as people said it was. Yes, of course. We are very happy together. Amelia and Robert were delighted. But with one exception. What is that? We have no children. Every day we wish we had a child, and that would have made our marriage truly happy. Amelia and Robert's happiness soon vanished, for this did not meet the requirement of the wise man to make the talismans. Dejected, they thanked the knight and his wife and continued their journey in search of the completely happily married couple. As they traveled on, they came to a country where they heard of an honest citizen who lived in perfect unity and happiness with his wife. So to him they went and asked if he really was as happily married as people said. Oh, yes, I am. My wife and I live in perfect harmony. But if only our son wasn't so ill and sick, we would be happier. We have tried the best doctors of our country, but no one could cure him. Dejected once again, Robert and Amelia looked at each other. We are very sorry to hear about your son, and we hope he gets well soon. Our search must continue. They thanked the honest man and his wife and continued their journey. They went on and on through the country, always inquiring about happily married couples, but none presented themselves. Do not worry, my love. I am sure we will find the talisman soon. I hope so, my love. For otherwise, the long journeys and all the trouble that we are taking would go in vain. Robert nodded and smiled to comfort his worried wife. But deep inside, he was worried too. One day, as they rode along fields and meadows, they noticed a shepherd close by the road cheerfully playing his flute. Just then, a woman carrying a child in her arm and holding a little boy by the hand walked towards him. As soon as the shepherd saw her, he greeted her and took the little child whom he kissed and caressed. The shepherd's dog ran to the boy and barked and jumped with joy. The woman arranged a meal she had brought along. The man sat down and took a bite of the food. All this was observed by Robert and Amelia, who walked closer and spoke to them. You must be a truly happily married couple. Yes, that we are. How happy are you? No prince or princess could be happier than we are. Not only are we happy, we are content as well. Robert and Amelia looked at each other and smiled, for they thought they have finally found the door to the talisman. It's a pleasure to meet you and your family, sir. Likewise, sire. Would you like to sit with us and eat? It is not much, but it is still food. Amelia looked at Robert and nodded. Not only are you happy, you are kind as well. 
And yes, we don't mind a quick bite. Robert and Amelia sat down and ate with them. They chatted for some time, and as soon as the food was over, Robert thought of quickly asking the farmer about the piece of linen. The food was delicious. Amelia and I cannot thank you enough. But I want to ask you for another favor. But let me first assure you that if you can help us, you will not regret it. Sure. What is it? Give us a small piece of the linen garment you wear close to your body, and we will reward you handsomely. Linen garment? Yes. You see, we have traveled for days to find the truly happily married couple, and in both of you, we have found it. If you give us a piece of linen from your cloth, then we will take it to the wise man in the forest, and from it he will forge talismans which will ensure that Robert and I live happily together forever, just like you. The shepherd and his wife looked strangely at each other, which made Robert and Amelia curious. What is it? We would be very happy to give you not only a small piece, but the whole shirt, if we had them. But we own none. You see, we don't have much, but we cherish what we have. Robert and Amelia's heart sank. But nevertheless, they gifted the shepherd some gold coins before leaving. You are a good man. Take care of yourself and your family. The shepherd and his wife thanked Robert and Amelia. As they sat on their horses, Robert looked at Amelia with concern. My love, I'm afraid that in search of the talisman, we are giving away the youthful years of our lives. I agree with you, my love. Let us go back to our kingdom. I do not wish for any talisman. And so Robert and Amelia decided to return home. While passing through the forest where the wise man lived, they decided to stop by and relate their travel experiences, and question him for giving them such poor advice. Ah, look who's back, Robert and Amelia. I am assuming that you must have found the piece of linen. No, we did not. It was a horrible idea to go look for it in the first place. Oh, was it? Yes. How could you do this to us? We have traveled several cities and towns to meet many people and found no one suitable for the impossible piece of linen cloth. I agree with my husband. This has been a complete waste of time. After listening to them, the wise man smiled. Has your trip really been all in vain? Are you not returning richer in knowledge? At this, Robert and Amelia were stunned. They looked at each other and wondered what the wise man meant. What do you mean? Ask yourselves, haven't you learned anything from the journey? Well, yes. I have gained this knowledge that contentment is a rare gift on this earth. And I have learned that to be content, one needs nothing more than simply to be contented. Both Robert and Amelia realized what the wise man was trying to do all this while. It was a lesson. Robert took Amelia's hand. The two looked at each other with an expression of deepest love. The wise man blessed them. In your own heart you have found the true talisman. Guard it carefully and the evil spirit of discontentment shall never in all eternity have any power over you. Robert and Amelia thanked the wise man and returned back to their kingdom. With every passing day, they loved each other even more, and together they guarded the talisman that they had found in their hearts and lived happily ever after. But wait, that's not the end. The knight and his wife had a baby girl. The honest man's son recovered and never fell ill again. And as for the shepherd, well, he was no one but the wise man in disguise to teach Robert and Amelia their lesson.